I'm always doing something out here. We had another recent storm that brought down some good sized branches. I've got them set aside here, just out of the way, so I can cut them up for firewood later. Pine branches are good for our goats, and I did feed some of those to our bucks. This is what, excuse me goats, nothing in there for you, no, sorry, nothing in there for you, <laughs> okay, this is what remains of the branches that I fed the goats, nothing left to do with it but uh, remove them now. Hello, Blue. Hello, goodies. Yes. All good goodies. Yes. They ate some of the branches, but not all of them. So I'm just going to get rid of what's left. goats. Down here in the ravine, I've been occasionally filling in this low spot with what I shovel out of the chicken run. I don't see any harm in throwing some of these spent pine branches right down here where they'll be buried in that stuff and just eventually compost down into normal soil. I'm in no hurry to finish this job. It's just something for me to putter away at when I feel like. This fallen branch has been getting in my way as I've been moving this material down here. Up to this point, the highest purpose for this branch has just been decorative. Just an interesting visual element 
but it's a looking a little worse for the wear with the bark peeling off and the moss dying. So I think it's time for me to move it on to its next highest purpose. It's been here a really long time, so it's rotten enough that I don't think it could be used for firewood. It should be lighter than it looks because it is so rotten. You might remember me describing how Clyde, one of our goats, escaped onto the neighbor's property right here underneath the barbed wire fence. By putting this here as a nurse log, it might just help discourage him or other goats that might escape the pen in the future from, from running that way. I'd like to take care of this fallen tree, but it's just a little too heavy and precariously balanced for me to do on my own. It's fallen across the fence, so if I cut it into smaller, easier to carry pieces, it's likely just to, to break my neighbor's fence. Honestly, I've been trying to convince myself that it looks good right where it is, and it kind of does, but in the back of my mind, it's always an unwelcome reminder of that really awful storm that dropped it just over a year ago. Maybe one of these days, if I have several guys out here who are willing to help, we can just lift it right up, and walk it over, and drop it on the other side of that fence. Since I'm already down here, there's a task I've been meaning to take care of. Of all of the invasive species out here, blackberry bushes are my number one enemy, and there's one growing with impunity right on that mound. I really like this landform, and I've got some trees growing on and around it so that their tree roots will eventually help stabilize the area. I don't want to cause any extra erosion that isn't necessary, but the only way to get rid of blackberries is to dig them out by the roots. So that's what I'm going to have to do. Since I removed the ivy out here, there have been some volunteer plants springing up in its place. I'm going to have to be careful not to crush the trillium or the maidenhair ferns.
Mission accomplished. We've got an unexpected late snow. It's really strange to see snow and spring flowers. This kind of weather really doesn't bother me because it's not cold enough to freeze hoses or our animals water. That storm I was talking about from last February was a snow and ice storm. So this last little random bit of logging does kind of fit with the video's title. There is one thing out of an abundance of caution that I'll take care of right now. I'm not really worried about anything important freezing up out here, except for the vegetable washing station faucet. I have had that thing freeze up before and it's not it's not an expensive thing to replace but it is kind of a hassle 